Spacelift makes managing your Terraform state easy. We handle all of the backend work needed to ensure your state is safe and sound. Spacelift has historically not given access to that state until now. With Spacelift's new Terraform Remote State Access feature, you can now access or download your state remotely. Accessing your Terraform state directly isn't always recommended, but it's definitely useful at times when you need to perform troubleshooting, access outputs from other stacks, test Terraform functions, or to use with custom external tools. Let's take a look. So as you can see here, I've got a GitHub repository that contains an EKS cluster stack. Now what we're really going to be focusing on here is accessing this cluster name output. So the first thing I'm going to do is run a terraform login spacelift.io and confirm. And that will allow me to log in to my spacelift account and provide access to the state. All right, perfect. So as you can see here, I've defined a data source that will access the remote state for my pool-eks stack, which is located in Spacelift. And then what I've done is just had it output that cluster name by accessing the remote state data source and accessing the outputs within that data. So if I run a Terraform init, I can then run a Terraform plan. All right, perfect. So that worked. That's a way that you can access your remote stack outputs from another stack. If you add this to one of your stacks within Spacelift, this will allow you to access that information. All right, I'm going to comment that out. And what if now we just want to access the entire state directly? So now if I run a Terraform init, I can then run a Terraform state list. And as you can see, I have direct access to all of my resources here. I can also use the terraform show command, which will show the entire state, but instead I'm just going to grep for cluster name. And you can also use JQ with this, but we'll go with grep to make things easy. All right, perfect. As you can see, it shows up a few times in the state, but we've got exactly what we were looking for. Now, what if I want to use a utility like terraform console? Unfortunately, we cannot acquire the state lock, and there's no way to unlock that in the Terraform console command. Terraform plan and apply have ways to unlock it, but Terraform console does not. So what we can do, which is a much safer way anyway, is pull the state locally and then access it that way. So I'll run Terraform state pull. I'm going to pop that into the EKS resources directory and into the terraform.tf state file. All right, and this EKS resources directory is all of the code from that repository we saw earlier. So if I open main.tf, I can see I've got several things here that I could play with. If I open the terraform.tf state, you can clearly see the full state is there, which is great. I'll change directory into the EKS resources directory. Then I need to run another terraform init. And I can now run terraform console, perfect. So if I want to see the random string dot suffix that was specified within the state, I can see all of that information there. As you can see, I access the result attribute. I can also access the local dot cluster name, which is right here. Perfect. And if I want to play with some functions, I can also do that, such as the zip map function to aggregate all of the AWS available zone IDs and the names, just like so. All right, perfect. So as you can see, this is a very, very powerful feature that's been released by Spacelift. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any other questions and keep building.